My name is Neil Simrichsen. I'm the uh, marketing director of eSIM Games. We're here at the iTech together with uh, AFSIM Limited, and uh, we are presenting a software that is uh, both a tactical simulation and a gunnery simulation together with the uh, control handle replicas from AVSIM. ESIM Games, which we founded in uh, the year 2000, uh, we developed originally a computer game named Steel Beasts. Steel Beasts was originally a pure armor simulation uh, modeling the M1A1 Abrams and the Leopard 2A4, which we then uh, expanded in functionality uh, for the uh, Danish army primarily and then later on to other customers like Sweden, Finland, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Spain. It was originally designed as a tactical simulation for platoon and company team level scenarios. But about eight years ago, we also added a gunnery simulation module on customer request. And uh, ever since then, we could offer our clients a very flexible tool, presenting gunnery training in a tactical context up to battalion level and down to the individual crew station, especially um, the gunner's place but also um, the commander's place. We are simulating a wide range of armored fighting vehicles. To name a few examples, the Leopard 1A5 DK with its Vigman and the Australian variant with its Subca fire control systems, the classic Leopard 2A4, the Danish Leopard 2A5 with the fully modeled 3D interior, like the Swedish SDRV and also the Spanish Leopardo. Both with a 3D interior featuring a battlefield management system. We have the just recently introduced Danish CV-9035 with its highly innovative KETF ammunition and the Swedish CV-9040, also in the C configuration with its add-on armor protection for international missions. There are also reconnaissance vehicles like the Australian SLF-25 and its personnel carrier variant. Here we have the Escort Pizarro IV with its 30mm Mauser cannon. Then of course the M1 Abrams family with its earliest model, then the A1 heavy armor configuration, and the A2 SEP variant. Here's the Bradley, both in the cavalry version and the infantry fighting vehicle. In addition to these armored vehicles, we also added a number of combat support elements like bridge layers. Or uh, artillery observer vehicles, trucks, helicopters. There is a wide range of combat opponents from classic hardware like the T-55 or T-62. modernized T-72s or rather exotic designs like technicals, pickup trucks with an assortment of cruiser weapons. Our latest development is the simulation of the Lemur, a remotely operated weapon station with different armament options, caliber 50 heavy machine gun and 40mm grenade launcher which is of high interest to any of our clients using an RWS, especially for their crew training of lightly armored vehicles, preparing them for asymmetric warfare conditions like we see in contemporary operations Afghanistan. 
for some of our customers, it is also of interest to provide the students with a holistic training experience that is combat at company team level and then including gunnery training so that the entire company or at least several platoons are simultaneously engaged in the same exercise. One recent development that is of interest to all our customers is the integration of correlated terrain thanks to our partnership with Terrasim. Terrasim is a company to provide terrain database management software where they can then export the database to the different formats of constructive and virtual simulations so that it is then possible to link several simulations together in one shared environment. This obviously is the prerequisite for close interaction between, let's say, a main battle tank and dismounted infantry, which would eventually be under control of a different simulation. So, if you're interested in contacting us, please go to our website, esimgames.com, or send me an email, comments at esimgames.com. We're looking forward to helping you any way we can.